Hi, I'm Samantha Crowley, the fashion editor of Cowgirl Magazine, and I'm here with Kirsty Jones of Kirsty Marie Photography. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Samantha? Really good. I'm so excited good. to see pictures from the shoot. How are you feeling about everything? Yes, um, I loved it. I mean, we had so much fun um, working on this, and so I'm just extremely anxious for people to be able to see these pictures. Um, you know, keeping them under wraps is my least favorite part of this job because I get really anxious to share them. So uh, the release is almost here and I'm really, really excited. So the shoot took place at High Range Ranch in Pilot Point, Texas. How did you pick that location? Yes, so Pilot Point is just north of where I live and it's kind of the quarter horse capital of the world. Like it's a real small town and there's a million horse trainers and breeding facilities and a friend of mine owns this ranch and I shoot at it um, as, as often as I can because I love it so much. Um, but we actually did the shoot in the downtown Pilot Point area, uh, which has a great like downtown square that is quaint and cute and older and has um, like murals and a lot of really interesting textures and backgrounds and fun places to do a fashion shoot like this. Um, and then, so it just was a great mix of backgrounds. And then we went to High Range Ranch, which is a operating ranch. They breed and show uh, American Porter horses there. And so it has everything from arenas and barns and the round pens and really big fields full of mares and baby horses. And it's a fully operational ranch that was the perfect setting for what I wanted to do. It turned out, it turned out so awesome. Um, we are totally in love with the horses and I have to ask, how is it shooting fashion with horses? Yeah, so I um, am mainly an equine photographer. So horses are what I do. Um, and it is, it adds an interesting element when you're doing fashion photography because you're at the mercy of what the horse is willing to do. So you can have all these ideas in your head of where you want to go and poses you want to do and ideas. And at the end of the day, if the horse doesn't want to do it, like you, <laughs> you have to work within, you know, what, what they give you. So the horses we had, they were excellent, very compliant models. The, the, the biggest thing is that when you're working with um, the female models, the human models, um, you just have to tell them to slow down because I need everybody to look perfect. So normally they're used to modeling by themselves and they can get in a groove of flow posing, but I just have to slow that down and say, I need the horse's ears forward and their feet right and their neck right. And, you know, I'm working with more than one model here. And so I need you to slow down so that we can make sure we get the, the shot perfectly and where everybody is ready. So it just, it definitely adds a new fold and a new element when you are working with animals because your communication is limited. And like I said, you're trying to motivate them to, um, to do whatever is in your head, like posing wise or location wise. Um, but it's, it's really fun. I'm such a horse lover myself that I love being able to incorporate horses anywhere and everywhere that I can because um, it adds a lot for me personally. The model looked like she did such a great job modeling with the horses. How did you choose the model and what was it like to work with her? Yes, so Ashley is really fun to work with. I have photographed her several times and she is a ball of energy. Um, so it's, it's always a blessing to work with her. Another huge advantage is that she was the hair and makeup artist, which in this like COVID um, world that we're in right now, I was really trying to minimize contact and how many people we had on set. So it was a huge advantage to like have, to be at high range at my friend's place, um, to work, you know, outside with tons of space, to have her do her own hair and makeup because she got to do two or three different changes of hairstyles and makeup. Um, she's wildly talented individual. But another fun part about Ashley is that she has a dancing background. And I love working with dancers as models because they have an excellent control of their expression. And I mean, everything from their eyebrows to their fingertips, they have, they're very self-aware of their body and their expression. And so I always enjoy working with um, girls who have acting backgrounds or uh, dancing backgrounds because they can just tap into some, like a different level of showmanship um, when they're used to performing like that. And that's really fun when you're on my side of the camera. Um, Obviously fashion shoots or any kind of shoots come with a lot of behind the scenes. Um, what kind of memorable moments did you have on set? Um, I, you know, you always are shooting winter 
looks in the middle of summer and summer looks in the middle of winter. So fashion photography in general is kind of known for that. It was so hot. I mean, here in North Texas, it was so hot during this session. And so poor Ashley was wearing sweater after sweater, you know, long sleeves, long pants, big fur jackets. Um, and, and something that she did was put like peppermint oil on the back of her neck and menthol oils on the back of her neck to try to cool down and to keep that like tingling sensation that she was cooler. And she said that it really worked. And oh my gosh, I don't think she sweat one beat. I was completely dripping in sweat. And she was just just kept on trucking she was amazing so that was that was a tip i'm gonna take with me because i have to shoot in very hot climates all the time <laughs> so that is a very memorable moment that is going to stick with me the peppermint oil on the back of the neck and on the wrist to just cool you down and keep that tingle sensation <laughs> so about the fashion shoot obviously it's a lot about the clothes did you have any favorite looks or pieces from the shoot yeah so the fun part about fashion is that what you're wearing can influence how you're feeling so much. And so I think one of the most fun ones for me to photograph was when Ashley stepped into the really tall Dan Post black boots and tight skinny Wrangler jeans and a black shirt. She looked amazing and she felt it was a very sexy look and immediately her whole demeanor changed. And that's one of my favorite parts as a photographer is watching a woman come alive on the other side of the lens. So for me, that was one of my favorite looks to photograph just because of how she exuded so much confidence um, and, and just radiated an inner glow when she felt really good in those clothing. I mean, every single look that you styled was incredible. I wanted to take every piece home. Um, and, and there were some that really came alive on her. Like I loved the fur jacket with the denim dress that came alive on her. Um, and honestly, one that really surprised me when she put it on was a bright cruel girl, um, print shirt that when she wore that, that was one of my favorites to photograph. Cause it was such as like a saturated deep sunset color um, on that print. So I had favorites to photograph, but I think her wearing that um, when she just had an extra, you know, when she was wearing the really tall boots with the skinny Wrangler jeans and she felt really sexy, that, is, that was really fun to photograph just because her confidence was just went through the roof. And I love seeing women come alive like that. That's so special to share that moment with her as well as a photographer, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've worked with you before. We've written a Cowgirl Empowered about you. You were in the Cowgirl 30 Under 30 2020. So I had to ask, what was it like shooting for Cowgirl? Oh my goodness. Like I said, the most fun part was probably the clothes. You guys sent me so much fun stuff. Like I said, perfectly styled by you. Thank you so much for how much you went through. It's it's. Uh, amazing to see how much work goes into something like this because there was so much on your end there was so much on my end there was the coordination back and forth it was a blast I'm so humbled it was such a fun experience we had an amazing time on set I loved the way that the fashion came together and those outfits came alive on Ashley um, so I I it, it was tragic shipping it all back I wanted, especially the boots. The boots were so hard to ship back. I was like, I want every single pair. I want every outfit that you guys sent me. So that part was really hard. <laughs> but the rest of it, I could not have asked for a better crew to work with and for you guys and everything. It was really, really special. And seeing it in print is so exciting. So again, so humbling, so much fun and just thrilled to be able to have this experience. Thank you guys. We were, thank you. We were so, so excited to be able to work with you and just seeing your work from the shoot, just, oh, we were totally blown away. The whole team just got, was gushing over the pictures. Um, so thank you so much for, for your hard work in this shoot and for taking the time to talk with us today. Yes, thank you, Sam. And where can people find you? Um, so if you search Kirsty Marie Photography, my website is kirstymarie.com um, or Instagram is Kirsty Marie, and I'm on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok and all the things. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Um, so be sure to check out Kirsty's shoot in the September, October issue of Cowgirl.